I feel like God played the biggest role in my success, but it wasn't entirely what it looked like. People always ask me, how did I find track and field? I've been fast all my life. I remember being a kid and making my dad proud of me. It was one of the best feelings ever. So when I became famous in track, I asked God to help me win in any way possible. I come across a steroid that's undetectable. It had to be from God. When I was sinning, it didn't even feel like a sin. So me using drugs to affect me didn't feel like I was hurting nobody but me. Tim Montgomery goes in lane five. There he is. Away they go. Great start from Dwayne Chambers. Here comes Tim Montgomery. Chambers now gets into his stride. Montgomery leading at the moment. Chambers trying to come back to him, but he's not going to get there. Montgomery wins this one. Time, 9.78. It's a new world record by Tim When I crossed the finish line, all I could think about was, thank you, Jesus. But then, everything that I thought I got away with came full circle. I got caught using steroids. I lost my records. I lost my sponsorships. Everything was gone overnight. My cheating just kept going on. I was convicted of a $5 million check scheme, distribution of hair run, and convicted to eight years and 10 months. My father came to visit me in prison. And he saw me through the glass. And when I seen him cry, that's one of the worst feelings ever. I was a cheater. I was a liar. I didn't know what to say to God. I just knew I had to go to Jesus to confess and to repent. Since I've been out of prison, God has allowed me to coach kids. I'm not just sharing what I have been taught on the track. I'm sharing what Christ has taught me. Whenever you cheat, it's like opening up a gate. It's always this gut feeling that you get like, ah, oh, I shouldn't do this. Once you go through that gate, you're gonna keep going through that gate, sending more and more and more. It's not too late. Turn around, shut the gate, lock it, and walk away.